Okay, so we're going to go over three questions that you need to ask yourself when you are trying to factor perfect square trinomials. First question is, is the first term a perfect square? Then the second question you should ask yourself, is the last term a perfect square? And the third question you want to ask yourself is, is the middle term double the square roots of the first and last? So I gave four examples up here. We're going to go through each one. So when I look at this, first of all, I ask myself, does it have a GCF, which it doesn't in this case. There's no GCF common to all three factors. Is the first term a perfect square? Yes. The perfect square, x squared, its square root would be x. And I like to write it right underneath. Is the last term a perfect square? In this case, 36 is a perfect square. Its square root is 6. If I multiply these two together and double their product, would I get the middle term? And yes, I would. 6 times x is 6x. Six 6x six x doubled is 12x. So you put a plus sign in between and then write the quantity squared. That is an example of a perfect square trinomial, and that is the factored form of x squared plus 12x plus 36. So let's do example two now. Is this a perfect square? Is the first term a perfect square? Yes, it is. Why? Is the last term a perfect square? Yes, it is again. Three. If you multiply these two together and double it, will you get the middle term 6y? Well, 3 times y is 3y. 3y doubled is 6y. So in this case, I can write the quantity bracket squared. What would be the sign that would go in between? Well, it would have to be a minus because minus 3y doubled is minus 6y. Next one. 25x squared plus 10xy plus y squared. Is the first a perfect square? Yes, it is. 5x. Is the last term a perfect square? Yes, it is. Why? If I multiply these two together and I double it, will I get the middle? 10xy. 5x times y is 5xy. 5xy doubled is 10xy. So I can put the quantity brackets squared. The sign in the middle would be positive. Last but not least, first term, it is a perfect square, A. Last term, it is a perfect square, its square root is 2B. Let's see, if I multiply these two together, I would get 2AB. Double that, I get 4AB. Wait a second. I do not have 4AB in the middle. So this is not a perfect square trinomial.